Welcome to this series of lectures by Guarantee Success Center. In this video, we are going to start the integration and partial fraction series, and we are going to just do it with some first questions as um, according to your syllabus. So I'm going to read a question to you, which are written the functions of the board. So the first question says that express g of x equal to x minus one on x plus 1 times x minus 3 into partial fraction and hence show that the integral from 2 to 4 of g of x with respect to x is equal to half the 5.3 okay so the first thing we have to do is to express this in to partial fractions so how do you express this function into partial fraction the first thing you say let g of x be equivalent to since they are all linear functions, okay, I will simply say it's equivalent to a on x plus 1 plus b on x minus 3. And since both of them are linear functions, what I can do is that I can use what called a cover up method in order to get the values of a and b. And how do I get this? So remember, I have. Uh, g of x is x minus 1, all that on x plus 1 times x minus 3, equivalent to a on x plus 1 plus b on x minus 3. And please, you should know that you use the cover up method only when the, numerator, the denominators are linear functions. So for this, a will be equal to now when I want to look for a, what happens is that I equate the denominator of a to zero. I get the value of x from there. So from here you see x plus one equal to zero implies x equal to negative one. So I take that negative one when I come I come back to my left hand side and then I cover up the denominator of a and then I substitute the negative one in in uh, wherever I see x in order to get my value for a. So if I substitute negative 1 here, I'm going to have negative 2. And if I substitute a negative 1 here, see I'm going to have negative 4. And so it gives me 1 on 2. Okay? Now you can equally solve it using your normal method that you know. Okay, where you have to go for the LCM and then you start decreasing the left hand side to the right hand side. That's going to be fine, but everything you should do, you do, you should get the value of A and B. So if I want to get the value of B, what I do is I equate the denominator of B to 0, so x minus 2 will be equal to 0, so you apply that x will be equal to 3. So when I get the value of x here, I come back to my left hand side, I cover the denominator of, the denominator of B, uh, and, uh, uh, and I substitute the value of x wherever I see x here, okay, in order to get the value of B. So when I put it here, you see 3 minus 1 is going to give me 2 divided by, if I put 3 here, it's going to give me. 3 plus 1, which is 4, which is equal to to give me half. So this implies that g of x in partial fraction will be equal to 1 on 2 into x plus 1 plus 1 into 2 so x minus 3. Okay, that's going to be g of x in partial fraction. Now, what about the integration from with limits from 2 to 4 to prove that it's equal to half plane 5 and 3? We are going to do it thus. Now, the first thing I would like you to know is that integral of g of x from 2 to 4 with respect to x is the same as integrating. 1 and 2 is x plus 1 with respect to x plus integral of 1 on 2 is x minus 3 with respect to x. And of course, we are going to do it using a formula. So I would just like to give you the formula, okay? So here we should know that integral of f of x of f prime of x on f of x with respect to x is simply equal to the f of x 
plus k. Okay. So this is the integral of fractions. So if I'm integrating a fraction and the numerator is a differential of the denominator, then the integral of that fraction will simply be equal to ln f of x plus k. Okay. So having done that. So let me come here to this way. Uh, integral of g of x from 2 to 4 to x will be equal to. Now I can, of course, remember the units are 2 to 4. So I can be able to uh, factor out this half here because they are constants. So I'm going to have half times the integral from 2 to 4 of dx. Uh, on x plus 1 plus half the integral from 2 to 4 of the x on x minus 3. Okay? Now, when I differentiate the denominator, that's if I differentiate the x plus 1, I'm going to have 1, which is equal to what is the numerator because the numerator it is simply just 1 to x. Okay, so it means the integral of 1 on x plus 1 with respect to x is going to be equal to 1. So this one simply I'll just copy this out. Half mean x plus 1 limits 2 to 4 plus. Now when I differentiate x minus 3, I also have 1. So it, it means that the integral of 1 on x minus 3 will be half mean. x minus 3, okay, limits from 2 to 4. So simply following this formula because the numerator is the differential of the denominator, the integral of the fraction will simply be equal to lean f of x plus k. Okay, lean of the denominator plus k. So here, I'm not going to put k because um, I already have limits. This is the case where you don't have limits. Okay, that's where you have k. So if I substitute the limits, remember that uh, lean A B is the same as lean A plus lean B and lean A on B is the same as lean A minus lean B. So normally I'm supposed to substitute the upper limit here then sub minus the lower limit. But following this law, I will simply say since it's minus, I will use the division rule here. So which is going to be Half lean 4 plus 1 is 5 on if I substitute 3 is going to give me 5 on 3 plus half lean if I take 4 minus 3 is going to give me 4 minus 3 is going to give me um, 1 and of course 2 minus 3 will give me negative 1 which lean of a negative number does not exist and so this one is going to be equal to 0. Okay? This one is not going to exist, it's simply going to be 0. And I'm going to have half lean 5 on 3. Okay? And I've proven that the integral of g of x from 2 to 4 with respect to x is equal to half lean 5 on 3. Right? See you in the next video. I'm going to make the next video which still has to do with uh, partial function and the integral of that partial function thank you very much for watching thank you for watching the video and if this is your first time on the channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel you like you comment and you share the video and don't forget that our preparatory classes for the different concourse after you finish your GC starts on the 12th of July this year that is 2022 it's going to start on the 12th of July at our different centers we have five centers we have um, two centers in the southwest, one in Boya and Andanke University Institute, besides former police Monaco. We have one at GS, GS Nikumba, that's government school Nikumba in Tiko. We have um, two, two centers in Bonaberry, that is um, one at Fidmat, that is located in Foray. We have one at Sunday.